Hey Fingsters, in this video you are going to learn how to escape special characters in Python. So special regular expression meta characters for example. So we start with uh, importing the regular expression package re, which is li like the standard uh, regular expression module in Python. And <coughs> now say you want to, so in a given, we have a given string like Python is really great. Yeah, now the really is enclosed in parentheses. And now we want to match this basically. So we just want to match the parentheses um, and the contents uh, of like opening and closing closing parentheses. Why is this a problem? Because uh, um, if you use like refind all, the find all function, uh, which requires a pattern, which we want to match in a given string. If we now just write, say, arbitrary characters enclosed in um, parentheses, on the given string, then it doesn't, it wouldn't work. It would match the whole string. Why? Because the opening parenthesis has a special meaning when used in a pattern. So the opening and closing parenthesis stand for the matching group, for example. Yeah. So therefore, it's like they just open the matching group. It's had, it's, it has a special regular expression meaning. And if you want uh, want to get rid of this meaning. So you, you really, I mean, in this case, we want in, the, in our pattern, we are looking for the opening and closing bracket. We don't want to create a matching group here. We just want to match the bracket itself, the bracket character. So, okay, how can we do this? Yeah, basically we just escape the bracket. So we escape the opening bracket and we escape the closing uh, bracket. And now by escaping it with the backslash, so we just have in the backslash in front of the special character. We remove the meaning of the special character in our regular expression. And now you see it matches only the contents of the, um, or uh, the contents in between the opening and the closing, closing bracket. And basically this, this strategy can be used for all kinds of regular expressions. So say we have a, um, another string like, like, I mean, say we have the same string here. Um, Python is, and now we have the, like the square bracket, really great. For example, now this is basically the same. How can we match the, um, the square bracket? The square bracket itself also has special meaning in Python. So if you want to match the square bracket, then you also need to escape it. And now we have an arbitrary number of characters and the closing square bracket and on the given string. And this is basically, it works exactly the same. Now we base, we actually match the square bracket character here. This is actually a part of the matched substring. So, um, and there are many special characters. And if you want to like know it for your special character X, um, then just check out the, the block I've I've given it basically this strategy works ex exactly the same for single quotes, for double quotes, for the dot. With the dot, for example, so if you want to really match the dot in a given string, the dot has a special meaning. It means match an arbitrary character. Um, so you also need to escape the dot in your regular expressions just by writing escape dot. And also for the similarly for the plus uh, operator, the asterisk operator, the question mark, and um, the pipe operator, which means the regular expression or operator. So if you want to get rid of the special meaning of the pipe, the pipe is this vertical line, you need to escape it. And this really works for, for all special characters you can think of. And uh, so if you are in doubt, then just escape the special character and most likely it will work. And uh, yeah, if, you <coughs> if it doesn't work, then check out the article where I have given all special uh, circumstances. Good, okay, that's already it. So if you want to get rid of the special meaning and you um, in your regular expression, then just escape the symbol um, at hand and that's it. It's a very simple strategy. Thanks for listening and see you in the next video. Bye.